Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mario and I hope all of you are doing well. So uh, today we're going to continue the series where we're going to talk about should we model with subdivision on or off. So just in case you missed it, uh, this is what you see on the screen right now is uh, the beginning of the series where we talked about different workflows, what's the importance of uh, subdivision itself, the importance of uh, support loops, edge flow. We talked about base topology. Uh, so in case you missed those videos, feel free to check them out. And this topic basically just continues on that as well. So also what you see here on the screen is part of that workflow where we actually modeling with subdivision on. And here in this video, I just want to kind of discuss the reasons why would you want to sometimes model with subdivision on or should you model at all with subdivision on or off? So what's the balance and why would you use one over the other? And the reason for that is really, really simple. So what you see here, for example, as this hood, uh, this right here is a non-smoothened uh, view, so how you have vertices by default. And this would be smoothened view, so if you're working with Cinema 4D or Blender, this is going to be after you apply that uh, subdivision surface modifier. So uh, in this state, we can manipulate the points a little bit better and shape the form that we are actually planning to use. So what we see here, currently selected smoothened preview, that is the form that we are planning to use. So in that case, we can model with subdivision preview on. So smoothing preview off, smoothing preview on. So in this case, this is actually what we are interested in. So uh, that means that we can directly come here and manipulate the points, set the form that we want to. And why are we actually interested in this one and not this one is because this one right here is becoming our future mesh. So if we would take this, let's say this is a mesh level one, this is a mesh level two. Once we smooth this out and add more topology and again, turn the smooth preview off, this now becomes our new sort of like level one and this becomes level two. So basically we are using smooth uh, preview uh, to put the mesh into the position that we want to have it later for future detailing and whatnot. So we are actually not interested at all in how it looks in this initial state. So if it looks weird, if it looks kind of like off, like in this state, that's really not an issue because actually we are interested in this state because later, once we smooth it out, subdivide it, this is what becomes sort of like that new mesh and new geometry. So regardless of how it looks in this state, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the difference is going to be, let's say, if we are now struggling to establish the shape in this form. So you're gonna see the difference is like, okay, I'm now trying to use not subdivision, and I'm trying to kind of like establish the form uh, that I want to, let's say here, and this needs to go down. And then I notice, okay, I'm struggling for geometry. I'm gonna add a new loop here. Then I'm trying to kind of like establish all that form. And then you're gonna see actually it kind of collapses everything on itself. So for that reason, it's not going to be as practical uh, to model in that form. So just again, to answer the question, when exactly are we going to model with smooth preview on or subdivision on, it's going to be the situation where that subdivided preview becomes the new geometry. So that is going to be kind of like the main guide to know when to model with subdivision on or off. So uh, I hope that this answers the question. And again, just in case you missed it, there is a complete workflow for this, what you see here on the screen, including uh, the top, top of the mask and the hoodie. So you can see the complete workflow, how it looks like when we are modeling with subdivision on and off. So here's going to be, let's say, when we're modeling with subdivision preview off, and this is going to be in the top of the mask when we're modeling with subdivision uh, on. Uh, but here, I just want you to do a small overview on when exactly would it be beneficial for us to model with, let's say, subdivision on. So yeah, I hope that this uh, helps. In case you have any further questions, like always, feel free to ask anything in the comment section down below. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'm gonna see you next time.